Hello everyone, welcome back to basic electronics classes. Today I am taking module 2 which is FET and SCR. I am Lavanya Vaishnavi. So today I am going to cover the two remaining topics in the previous section that is from SCR that is characteristics of SCR and applications of SCR. Let us see the characteristics of SCR. SCR characteristics, SCR characteristics. Coming to the SCR characteristic, the first one is here you can see the symbol of SCR and this is the characteristic. So how does the SCR characteristic work? So I will take the layers, so P, N, P, N. And we know that this P is connected to anode, this N is connected to cathode, this P is connected to gate, right? Now, I need the characteristic. So, first I will connect this anode to positive voltage, cathode to negative voltage. This is forward bias. This is forward bias. In forward bias, you have two operations or two modes of operation. Next in reverse bias you have the third mode of operation. So the first one is forward blocking mode. Forward blocking mode. The second one is forward conduction mode. The next one is reverse blocking mode. So, in first one, now there are three modes of operation. One is forward blocking mode, reverse, so forward blocking mode, forward conduction mode and the next one is reverse blocking mode. Now let us analyze this. First thing uh, for forward, first two steps we need anode to be connected to positive, cathode to be connected to negative. The same thing we have done. So this is the current axis where I get anode current and this is the voltage axis that is the voltage drop across the anode and cathode that is completely across the SCR. Now, so, I make gate current equal to 0. First, I will take Ig equal to 0 and I will start increasing the voltage Vak. I will now start increasing the values of Vak. The current will slowly start increasing and it reaches some point. At this point, at this point which is called forward blocking mode, there is a cutoff here. There is a cutoff here. Once it reaches this point, it will suddenly go back to 0. And this point, this point is called forward block over voltage. It is called forward block over voltage. Which is called forward block over voltage. And once it reaches the forward block over voltage, the voltage across the transistor will suddenly drops to certain point. It will come back to certain point and from there the current will increase linearly and rapidly. You will be having a sudden increase in the current and this current increases in a linear way. So you will be getting a line. Okay. So line in the sense linear way. Why it is linear? Because the resistance remains constant here. So you will be having a resistance here which is which acts as a or which makes the current to vary linearly. Okay. So, you increase the VAK, the current will also increase gradually at certain point where you meet the forward block over voltage. After that, the voltage drop across the transistor or SCR will reduce to certain point. From this point, the current will again increases linearly. You will be having a gradual increase in the current. Now let me change the value of Ig. I will take Ig equal to Ig1. 
I am changing or increasing the value of Ig. If I increase the value of Ig, the current will again take the same path but it reaches the forward block over voltage at an earlier point. At an earlier point. So look at this. This is the first point without Ig. This is the second point with certain amount of gate current. So as you increase the gate current, this breakover point get reduced. Breakover point get reduced. And rest of the characteristic that is the linearity remains the same. Linearity remains the same. So look at this. The same thing has been explained here. So I have two more points to pen here. I will tell you. Like look at this. This is the forward breakover voltage for the first case where Ig value is equal to 0. When Ig value equal to 1, this is the second one and this is third one. And again this is the fourth one. So this is holding current. So the current reaches the or when the current reaches the or when the voltage reaches the breakover voltage or the current reaches the holding current sorry when the current reach when the voltage reaches the take a break when the voltage reaches the breakover voltage or the applied voltage reaches the breakover voltage the current will drop to certain current value which is called holding current which is called holding current. After once it reaches the holding current it will gradually increase linearly increase. This is about the SCR characteristic. Let us see some important definitions here. So the first one is forward breakover voltage. What is the definition of forward breakover voltage? It is a voltage at which SCR enters into conduction mode for the given IG. For the given IG. Correct? If VF decreases as IG increases. Okay? So, the same thing I told you. So, after this point, once your SCR reaches the breakover voltage, it will turn on. So, this is the on state. This is the on state. Next, holding current. It is the value of anode current below which the SCR switch switches from conduction state to forward blocking region. It from conduction state to forward blocking region. Okay. So, I told you that we have three different regions of operation. Here, this one, the first region is this one which is forward blocking mode and this is the forward conduction mode. This is the forward conduction mode. This is the blocking mode and this is the conduction mode. So, that is what we mentioned here. It is the value of anode current below which the SCR switches from conduction state to blocking region. Correct? So, when the value of SCR or when the value of IA is below IH, it will reach as the blocking region from conduction region. So, this is the conduction region and this is the blocking region. So, it will reach from conduction to blocking region when the IA falls that is anode current falls below IH value. Next is latching current. So latching current it is the value of anode current requires to keep the SCR in on state. This is not in sorry make it as on state after removing the gate signal. I told you that we can also remove the gate signal uh, and even if I remove the gate signal, the SCR remains turns on. SCR will remain on. So, there should be some minimum amount of anode current. That is anode current IA so that the latch, uh, so that the device is on. What is that minimum amount of current? That is latching current. Next is forward and reverse blocking regions. So, I told you about forward blocking region. So, this is the forward blocking region. Okay, so look at this. I'll change the color of the pen. Okay, let me take this one. Okay, so this is the forward blocking region. This complete region is forward blocking region, and reverse blocking region is this one the reverse bias. When do you get the reverse bias? When cathode is connected to positive, 
and anode is connected to negative we get the reverse bias okay and reverse breakdown voltage it is the voltage corresponds to zener or avalanche bre uh, breakdown voltage of pn junction so in reverse bias in the reverse bias so in the reverse bias it behaves the scr behaves as a diode it behaves as a diode as you increase the voltage that is reverse voltage that is applied across this so the current slowly start increases at some point it will break down the diode will break down that means it get destroyed it get destroyed we will not operate this scr in reverse bias condition therefore uh, so we do not apply negative voltages here okay so this is about scr characteristics The last topic is applications of SCR. So here in the applications of SCR, let us see the major application or one of the important application which is variable resistance phase controller or it is also called as half wave variable phase resistance control. So why it is called variable resistance phase control? First thing we are designing a rectifier here. So it is a rectifier circuit that can control the phase that that can control the phase so what is a rectifier that converts ac to dc right that converts ac to dc now i'll give you a few points regarding rectifi rectification so we will give the input sinusoidal uh, signal for the rectifier and the output you will be getting is pulsating output right you will be having pulsating output like this so if it is half wave rectifier if it is full wave rectifier you will be having full pulses that is you will be having two pulses you won't be having the zero state right so here i am using a half wave rectifier so i will be getting the pulses here in this pulse this is the pulse you are having okay so in this pulse we want to control the phase we want to control the phase in a sense so the turn on time instead of starting from this point starting from this point i don't want up to this portion i don't want the output up to this portion so that the output will be like this so the output will be like this so look at this output how it is so you won't be having certain portion so this portion is not there right this portion is not there so we are removing certain phase here so look at this variable resistance phase controller this is how you control the phase so that is what the phase control means variable phase resistance controller even this means the same thing now you have rl here in the circuit you have rl which is load resistance r is a resistance and r1 is a potentiometer what is r1 it is a potentiometer or a variable resistance in the sense i can vary the value of resistance suppose r1 is a resistance that can vary from 1 kilo ohm to 1 10 kilo ohm okay so r1 may be a resistance that can vary its value from 1 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm so if you have the old uh, fm uh, fm boxes at your home or any audio device at your home you will be having a knob to raise the volume and to reduce the volume that is nothing but a resistance that changes its resistance the same thing here you will be having a knob here to vary the resistance here so i'll assume that r1 is a potentiometer that can vary its resistance from where to where minimum value it can take 1 kilo ohm and maximum value it can take 10 kilo ohm now this is how the resistance is varying here this is just an example now based on the varying of your resistance the current ig is decided the value of ig is decided once ig is decided according to the ig the turn on and turn on of the scr is decided turn on on the scr is decided initially i'll take ig such that or i'll uh, set the value of resistance such that you will be having 
आई जी करेंट विच इज नॉट केपेबल ऑफ टर्निंग ऑफ टर्निंग ऑन ऑफ एस सी आर दैट इज आई विल मेंटेन आई जी लेस देन द वैल्यू वेर दिस एस सी आर विल नॉट टर्न ऑन ओके सो स्लोली वेन आई स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग एन स्लोली वेन आई स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग एन देर विल बी अ करेंट पासिंग थ्रू हियर आई जी विच इंक्रीजेज द वैल्यू और विच टर्न ऑन द एस सी आर विच विल टर्न ऑन द एस सी आर वंस द एस सी आर इज टर्न ऑन इट विल स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग इट विल स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग सो वॉट हैपन्स वेन इट स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग यू कैन सी यू आर गिविंग एन इनपुट एज अ साइनोसॉयडल सिग्नल एंड द साइनोसॉयडल सिग्नल विल पास थ्रू द एस सी आर बिकॉज दिस कंडक्ट्स ओनली इन वन डायरेक्शन इट कंडक्ट्स ओनली इन वन डायरेक्शन यूनि डायरेक्शन डिवाइज इट कंडक्ट्स ओनली पॉजिटिव पीक इट विल नॉट कंडक्ट द नेगेटिव पीक इट विल नॉट कंडक्ट द नेगेटिव पीक इट कंडक्ट्स ओनली द पॉजिटिव पीक एंड दिस पॉजिटिव पीक पासिस थ्रू द एस सी आर एंड हेंस यू विल गेट दैट अक्रॉस द लोड वी विल गेट इट अक्रॉस द लोड नाउ हाउ डू यू कंट्रोल द फेस हियर हाउ डू यू कंट्रोल द फेस सो एज वी वेरी द रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू एज वी वेरी द रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू वी कैन इंक्रीज द एंगल ऑफ फायरिंग एंगल ऑफ फायरिंग दैट इज आल्फा इज द एंगल ऑफ फायरिंग एल्फा इज द एंगल ऑफ फायरिंग सो एज यू इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस द टर्न ऑन टाइम द टर्न ऑन टाइम ऑफ द एस सी आर विल इंक्रीज सो दैट यूर एस सी आर विल टर्न आफ्टर सर्टन फेस दैट इज आफ्टर सर्टन डिले सो यू विल बी गेटिंग अ वे फॉर्म लाइक दिस विथ अ क्लिप्ड पोर्शन सॉरी विथ अ मिसिंग पोर्शन ओके so like this you can turn on the scr now the diode we are using or the rectification we are using here is half wave rectification so this is half wave rectification because this is half wave rectification the firing angle firing angle is alpha so will be maximum of 180 degree maximum of 180 degree after which you have no signal at all right So there is zero there is no signal so firing angle will vary from 0 to 180 degree in this condition in this condition you might ask me what is this diode what is its importance so this diode is a protective device uh, which avoids the reverse flow of current if at all if there is any reverse flow of current to avoid the damages of the circuit we are using this diode d okay so this is all about so this is the explanation of that this is all about the scr and uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts you can leave a comment or write me back to my mail id so please like the video share the video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you to everyone thank you for watching this video so if you have any doubts you can write, write me back to my mail id and uh, please like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you